Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on this Friday. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. It's southwest Suffolk County on Long Island. Serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Tri-State area with everything you need to make sure that your home can stand up to adverse weather and you're protected. And they're getting ready for winter as they are Long Island's largest rock salt source. 631-756-1125 is the phone number and the website is omnitruevalue.com. So let's get uh, going here with what's left of Nicole, which is now really pretty much just a sort of amorphous low that is moving uh, through north Georgia and heading up the west side of the Appalachians. You can see the rather large cloud shield that has evolved now from what was once a a tighter looking tropical system. Uh, But this typically happens as they move northward. We also have uh, a cold front and uh, right here. This front and Nicole is basically moving up what I would refer to as an alleyway that's being set up by this front that is moving eastward. So uh, between the two of these systems, we are going to get into some uh, rain. Uh, You'll notice that uh, this morning uh, we're seeing uh, lightning flashes all over the place off the Carolina coast with thunderstorms extending up uh, into North Carolina. So that's one of these arms of moisture that is lifting up northward along the eastern seaboard and and you can see it here on the wide view of the radar our area from eastern pennsylvania to southern new england is basically going to be dealing with these bands as they move through the uh, more solid widespread area of rain that's for central and western pennsylvania and eventually central and western new york along with parts of northern New England. Uh, for t- This morning, we're seeing that rain extending down into Kentucky and Tennessee. And now the southern edge of this is uh, moving again through north Georgia and up the, up the, will make its way up north where the low center will, up the west side of the Appalachian Mountains. So that usually means that the areas from eastern PA to southern New England wind up with less in terms of total rainfall. We do have severe weather risk today. Uh, and that's a marginal risk of severe weather. SPC overnight kind of nudged it a little bit further south. Uh, my suspicion is that they might nudge it maybe the other way uh, a little later this morning when they do their update. Marginal to slight risk from uh, north central New Jersey uh, down into South Carolina. And by the way, that uh, marginal risk zone comes with 2% tornado risk. And uh, in the slight risk zone, it comes with 5%. Uh, tornado risk. So I'm not, I would not be at all surprised if we do see uh, a few things spin up. Uh, Rainfall-wise, uh, from WPC, uh, these are three-day rainfall totals. So this takes us uh, through Monday. So it covers everything. And just about all of it is going to be from uh, this uh, system here. You're looking at the edge of an inch of liquid cutting at right about New York City to about Philadelphia, south and west to the Washington, D.C., Baltimore area. You get into the inch and a half plus as you move your way through northeast PA. You can see the heavy rains for upstate and western New York, uh, also for central western PA into Ohio and West Virginia, anywhere from an inch and a half to maybe as much as two and a half inches of rain uh, being uh, indicated uh, in in the forecast. So uh, once we play this out, uh, I think we're going to be fine for at least a few days going into early next week. And for you snow lovers, uh, head up to northern Michigan where there's a high probability of at least a couple of inches there and a few pockets in western Michigan and even in western uh, western New York, southwestern New York and northwest PA. There's a 40 for 50 percent chance of some lake effect snows this weekend that could produce a couple of inches. So it's a fairly straightforward forecast here. Uh, with rain, these bands of rain coming in uh, for uh, today and as they are starting to move northward. So figure that they will arrive sometime. uh, This is by 7 a.m. that the GFS has rain into southern New Jersey uh, through central and western Pennsylvania. So if we look at the radar, yeah, it's pretty close to what the radar's got. So that moves up northward. So rain develops from south to north this morning into this afternoon. The first band will pull out going into the late afternoon and evening. Then we'll get the cold front as the low goes by. That could produce some uh, downpours and maybe some thunderstorms as that happens. 
and then the low goes out to the northeast. We see improving weather conditions on Saturday. Now, it's warm and tropical today. Temperatures will probably reach upper 60s to low 70s. It's going to feel very humid. Uh, and tomorrow, after the rain ends and we go to partly Maybe partly sunny skies, possibly even mostly sunny skies for a little while later in the day on Saturday. It's still going to be warm with temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. We have to wait for the upper trough to come through, and it will do that. And that brings in the colder air for Sunday and for Monday. There might be a couple of showers overnight Saturday night into early Sunday morning in a few places. You see it here on the GFS. And then it's going to be uh, on the windy side and chilly on Sunday. Temperatures probably no higher than upper 40s to low 50s. And we'll be mostly in the 40s for Monday and for Tuesday uh, with the sunshine. Here comes the next low. This is for uh, Tuesday evening. We'll have increasing clouds later Tuesday. And uh, if this low does hold together, there might be just enough of cold air. So maybe, just maybe, a few spots well inland north and west of the coast could see some wet snow in the mix uh, as this uh, low moves up uh, to the northeast. A subtle reminder of maybe what lies ahead. Weather in 5 brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. So uh, get ready because the radar is fairly loaded. And uh, we will uh, update uh, our forecasts on the website and, of course, for Patreon members on the subscription site. Uh, that's uh, on its way. And uh, also the Joe and Joe Weather Show will make its next appearance on Sunday at 11 a.m. And if the weather gets a little rough, I may pop on uh, tonight. By the way, uh, we do have wind advisories up. I should have mentioned this earlier, but we do have wind advisories up for the coastal counties of New Jersey and for Long Island, extending uh, northeastward from there. Uh, and uh, that uh, is for tonight into tomorrow morning. Uh, the wind advisories also... Uh, extend. Let me just check here uh, to see if they <clears throat> extend up into the Boston area, and they actually extend a, a, across southern Connecticut uh, into Rhode Island and southeastern New England. They'll have southerly winds, probably gusting to 40 or maybe even close to 50 miles an hour uh, for a brief time during the overnight period. So maybe I'll sneak on tonight. We'll see. Have a nice day, and uh, hopefully you'll have a great weekend.